Selective picking. Now, selective picking is something that was sort of, I don't know if I would say discovered, invented, uncovered by our Lord and Savior, Tosin Abasi. And it's kind of simple, it's a really simple technique. All you do is start this with a tap with your left hand. You're just going to use your left hand to smack a note and then use your pick to hit that same note. Now, I just thought of this like, seconds before I started filming, but if you want to practice it, hit just the, hit the pick once. I thought you had to hit the pick twice, but I think you can hit the pick once. Just tap and pick. It kind of gives it like a, like a self echo. Like you're, like you're using a delay pedal, but you're not. And the way I've really been practicing this because I only thought of using two notes before, was I was tapping with my left hand, using a downstroke with my right hand, down towards the ground, and then an upstroke with my right hand, up towards my beautiful face. And then, I've been practicing that by running simple scales like the A minor scale. I'm not gonna teach you the A minor scale. You can Google it. And I've also been practicing the C major scale. I was thinking about why anybody would do this, and the reason is it's really easy to play fast and skip strings at the same time. Usually, before this, dum-dums of the past had to alternate pick and change strings. <laughs> like savages. But now we can just tap, not use our right hand, and then use our left hand to jump a string. Super easy. And that's what I've been practicing, is these little C major arpeggios. This is a C major seven arpeggio. So I'm gonna start by tapping the eighth fret of the E with my index finger, and then doing a down up stroke with my right hand. And that's gonna be the theme, I'm gonna do that tap down up with my right hand the entire time. So I'm gonna go 8th fret on the E, 9th fret on the D, then I'm gonna do 10th fret, 10th fret with my third finger on the A, then I'm gonna do my middle finger on the 9th fret of the G. Then I'm gonna do my third finger on the 10th fret of the D. Then I'm gonna use my first finger on the eighth fret of the B. It's kind of easier on the low strings because they're thicker. Then I'm gonna use my middle finger back on the ninth fret of the G. And then finally I'm gonna hit the eighth fret of the high E, the octave. Oops. And there you go. You, there you go. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> 